Irish football. The Republic are just 90 minutes away from qualifying for their first major tournament since 2002. Uh, they lead Estonia 4 0, heading into the second leg of the Euro 2012 playoff. And our reporter Andy Burton is pit side with Ray Hatton. Evening, Andy. Yeah, evening Simon. Uh, it, it's definitely a party atmosphere here in Dublin uh, tonight. Pretty much has been right the way through the weekend. I'm told Friday night was a decent night to be out in this town after that unbelievable performance um, out in Tallinn, which Ray Houghton and myself were there to witness. Uh, Ray, is it sinking in now just uh, how close they are to the tournament and what they achieved out there in Estonia? I think we'll tell you in a few hours' time. Uh, we know how professional the manager is. He'll expect the players to go out to the, the best of their ability. We know we're 4-0 up. Uh, and it's very unlikely the Estonia will get back into the game. But you want to be get over that line. You know, you want you want to be there. You want to be part of that 60 that's going to be in the Euros next year. And it's a lot of hard work that's gone before them. You know, two years in the making this is. It's not just about tonight or Friday when we got that fantastic result. This is the culmination of the lads sticking together, you know, getting into that second place, being good enough to come through the playoff. And they're 90 minutes away from the promised land. And it's been a long time in coming. We've had to wait uh, 11, uh, 10 years now to, you know, to get to a major tournament. Long time for the Irish fans, and tonight we will be a celebration. But, Andy, we have to be just slightly concerned that the game doesn't become secondary. You know, we have to uh, you know, know about the importance of the match tonight, the fact that we don't allow Estonia into the game, we don't give them any encouragement whatsoever. And if we can do that, then we can enjoy uh, maybe the second half of the game if we can get a goal or two up before then. Is this a little bit sweeter for these Irish players because they get to finish this off here at home in Dublin? I remember when they won the Iran playoff, they were away in the second leg, weren't they? Well, these are moments that you save in your career. These are, you know, when you're finished, you, you reflect, you look back, and, and these are the nights you'll remember most of all. They've had plenty of pain in, in the past. You know, the lads have been involved in France two years ago, sitting in the dressing room when you've been knocked out in strange circumstances, shall we say. But tonight will be a, a night to savour. You know, the players will be delighted to be part of it. Uh, I'm sure what they want is the, the final whistle. They don't even want to start the game. They all want to hear the final whistle. To celebrate with the, the fans in this stadium tonight, 51,000 sellout crowd, which is absolutely phenomenal. And first sellout for the national team here. Yeah, right? which is surprising, really. Yeah, it's very surprising. But listen, we had that when I first started, before we qualified for our first uh, major campaign. There was a lot of occasions at the old Lansdowne Road where we couldn't fill it. But all of a sudden, the fans got behind uh, the team, the country got behind the team, and it was incredible what uh, panned out after that. So this has got the makings of, of something like that happening. But uh, it's just a joy for you and I to come along to a game like this where we're not only concerned about how the match might, uh, might occur tonight, that we can actually enjoy it. Uh, and that's not happened too often in our Irish careers. Now, what do you do with uh, Giovanni Trapattoni and this contract situation? It's running out. Do they sign him up nice and quick now? I think they will. I don't, I don't think there's any doubt about it. You know, his brief when he came come in was to get the Irish team qualified for a major tournament. He's done it. So he's done what he's had to do. Uh, I don't think anyone can argue against his record. 23 competitive games with only two losses. You know, that's comparable with most teams around the world. Last 10 games, have only conceded one goal. So, you know, there's a lot of things that he can show the FEI why he should be the manager for the foreseeable future. And I don't think you'll have one person in the 51,000 crowd tonight who'll be complaining, you know, about his contract. They all want him to sign very quickly. And a very quick final thought, because we're running out of time, but does uh, the, the thought of Ireland going to a tournament bring back some good memories for you? USA 94 and, and scoring against England? Well, I think 88's the one. 88, you know, when we first qualified for the... the